Hello students and welcome to Top Scholars. Students, we are going to be talking about a very very interesting topic today. The name is Phylum Orthropoda. Students, let us first talk about the name itself of the phylum that is Orthropoda. This particular word has two parts. The first part is Arthros which means joints and the second part is Poda which means limbs or appendages. So basically the name of the phylum means that these are animals having jointed appendages. Let us begin. The general characters of the phylum Arthropoda. The first one here we have is that these organisms are all triploblastic, bilaterally symmetrical and they are eucylomates. Now students, what is meant by triploblastic? As you can see in that diagram, you can see all three germ layers are shown, which tells us that in the embryo of these animals, all three germ layers are formed, which are ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. Now students, pay attention to the diagram right next to it. It is a beautiful image of a spider, which is one of the scary individuals of orthropodans. Now the spider's body can be divided into two equal halves by a single plane passing through the center. This means that orthropodans have bilateral symmetry. And finally students, orthropodans have a true coelom making them eucelomate. Moving on, they have segments but these segments are present externally as well as internally. This type of segmentation is called as metameric segmentation and the segments are also referred to as metameres. Now pay attention to the image of the ant. The body is divided into three parts. The first part is the head. The second part is the thorax which is itself divided into three different parts and the last part of the body is the abdomen. The same can be seen in the cockroach, the head, the thorax and the abdomen. But students, there are certain individuals under arthropoda like millipede and centipede whose body is differentiated only into two parts, the first being the head and the second being the trunk. Now, if you see in insects, the trunk is divided itself into two parts, that is the thorax and the abdomen. Now here, do you see the head? The head here students is itself made up by fusion of five separate segments and the head generally contains various sense organs like antennae, eyes and mouth. Moving on students, let us talk about the skeleton. The endoskeleton is absent but the exoskeleton is very thick and tough made up of a polysaccharide known as chitin. Students, this chitin makes the body of the orthropodans very very tough and also makes it waterproof. Moving on students, there is presence of paired jointed appendages. Let us count. We have two, then we have two more below and finally two more are the lowest pair of appendages giving a total of six appendages usually seen in insects. To learn more about this video, download Top Scholars app.